watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today we're going to be taking a look at a Joker knife. Just a really basic knife from Joker that you can get the this brand on Amazon. They're made in Spain. That's well, one reason I really like them. Uh, it's a quality European product. Quick look at the packaging here. You got this deer in the background, the sun setting, and the Joker logo and name. These are handcrafted, sporting cutlery, designed and handcrafted in Spain. There's a look at their QR code. And on the side, pretty much all the same. Just got the Spanish translation here. It's Cucharia Deportiva, sporting knife, sporting cutlery, handmade. And yeah, the model number we're looking at here is number 75. Again, made in Spain. This is the Antonio. Antonio, uh, English translation, just means days gone by. Also comes with a little card here, a little certificate. Let you know this piece is handcrafted in Spain with quality materials. So there's a look at your packaging. Here's your knife. We have a four inch closed design. And you can see just sort of a curved handle with a very easy to access blade. You got olive wood handles with the brass pins. Brass pivot, very basic design. This is untreated wood, it's unfinished. I put some uh, Howard's feed and wax on it, which does a great job. That contains like a carnauba wax and also all orange or excuse me, orange oil. So it just does a really good job of protecting the wood. And if you're going to use this in the kitchen, you'd want to do that. You know, keep uh, keep some uh, nice food safe type of product on the knife handle. And on the blade, perhaps some mineral oil, whatever you prefer. But just a very basic design. You can see the shape there, just sort of a very natural curve up here. And this nice, almost sort of like a, I guess, a pommel I'm on the end. It's almost a pommel shape into it. Keeps your hand from slipping off. Well, let's take a look at the blade. Now, this is a carbon steel blade. I don't know the exact carbon composition of it, but says Carbono right there on the blade. Nice drop point style to it. You can see the vertical grind lines on there. Quality done. Just a flat grind all the way down. No, no hollowness at all to the, to the grind. Very much a flat grind. But just a really beautiful shape. The total length right to the top of the handle. It's about three and a quarter. And then your cutting edge about two and three quarter. So for the sticklers uh, in the UK, those are probably not gonna not gonna be a UK legal carry. A little long on the blade. If you're measuring all the way to the top, cutting edge would be legal, but I don't, I don't think that's gonna fly. And there's your Joker blade edge. Uh, not too much billboarding there. I, I can live with that. And then there's, there's your model underneath there, Antonio. Yeah, good look at the Joker logo. But just a beautiful blade. Uh, the, the quality is there. You can see the, the quality and the grinding of it and the edge. Just a very delicate edge on it at the end there. You can see it matches up well on this side as well. Yeah. Just really well done. Very sharp out of the box. I mean, it's not hair popping sharp, but it's it's plenty enough to cut paper. And uh, I think the the overall shape and design is super nice. Just a just a really nice line to this knife. I think the the blade ratio to the handle is very nice. I mean, you're filling up that handle in the closed position all the way to the tip there, and it's got the stainless liners and really no gaps or anything. There is a little minor one here, just a little. I would say that's the one thing wrong with the knife when you open it. They call that a piston lock design. I just It's just a regular slip joint. I don't know why they've given a particular name. But you can see how that's just a little wonky. Kind of goes to the left a little bit. Doesn't seem to affect anything. And there's no blade wobble or anything like that. It's not moving. Once it's in there, it's in there. It locks up really well. I'd say the pull on it is about oh, roughly a six to the half point, And it gets a little firmer as you're pulling it shut. So locks up well. Very confident use. That's not going to fold on you. And you can choke up really nicely if you want. And then that sort of bend at the end there prevents your hand from sliding off the end of the handle. 
So very confident use. You know, they could be used as a work knife. I think it's durable enough for that, large enough for that. You could use it in the garden. Or as I say, use it as a uh, as a food knife. I think, you know, flat grind knives are really nice for that. Not what you're going to see in the kitchen anyway, right? You use, use that as a, for food prep in a lot of different ways. There's your, t t you know, your, your uh, tapering there at the tip. And you look at the blade stock. Pretty decent blade stock on there. But uh, yeah, really comfortable in the hand. That's the full four finger grip there. So really locked down. Now, when I got the knife, I'd say the one other little issue as I needed to sand down the interior of the liners to make it a little more comfortable. But that literally took me. 10 seconds, just a little bit of like 800 grit paper along the edge here, back and forth, five or six times, just kind of roll the interior so that it's not grabbing your finger there. Feels a lot better now than it did when I got it out of the box. But for 20 bucks, I think this is a really well-built knife and one out of Europe. So if you're one of those that don't want to support, you know, the Chinese manufacturing, then um, this gives you a great alternative. And it's, it's it's still at an affordable price. So there you have it. The Joker Antonio. Again, that uh, translates into days gone by. So probably something they were basically referring to. This is an old-fashioned style knife, right? Just a very basic design. But I really like the uh, sort of classic look and feel to it. And uh, I think it's a great quality built knife from Joker at an affordable price. So that's going to do it for my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. And we'll see you next time. Take care.